guys, it is Monday. Finally thawed out enough to at least drive around a little bit, and Joe has made it. Hey, what a great day. So, we're on Joe's truck. Got some new cool stuff to show you today, so you guys stick around and let's see what he's got. Let's do it. How you been? Been missing you guys. I've been missing the whole world. Today was the first day I was able to get out of Cherry Chapel Loop in the holler. Let me tell you. Clear ice. If I had to go back right now, I wouldn't be able to get back in. That's crazy. So I'll describe it in reverse. Going in is going down half mile going down, and then we get toward the bottom, or you think you're at the bottom, it's about a 90 degree turn, and you go another third mile, but after that, that 90 degree curve, there's about 20 foot drop off in the trees mm. in a creek. Um, wow. And then there's another great big hill that's, it's huge. It's all shaded. No no way to get no about sun. Very little shade. I mean, very little sunlight hit yeah. it. And then coming this way, before I even got to that, them two hills, I had two jackets on, had to take them off. I was like sweating bricks. It's like. I'm beyond the point of no return. There's no room to turn around <laughs> in this here van anyway. And it, um, it's an adventure, let me tell you. Well, but, I know uh, I know you're from up north and you're used to to yeah, winter. Yeah, but they, they kind of like, you know. That's why I was texting to say, guys that live up north, they're used to the roads being clear. Yeah. Like down here, but, like you're but, just screwed. But there's, you know, Hasn't even been any real traffic on them roads. Mm -hmm. Clear ice doesn't matter. Yeah. No matter what you got, you're, you're not going. That's what, like when I did the last video talking about how we had that cold spell, everybody's like, ah, oh, negative five wind chills, not cold, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, like, I've been up north, like when my grandmother yep. passed away, she lived in Chicago, it was actual temperature was minus five that day. And when the day we had her funeral, and it was snowing, but the roads were completely clear. Like the, you know, the parking lots would have some ice on it and stuff. But for the most part, it was all clear. It's nothing like it is here. Yeah, we're we we're, <laughs> so. we're, uh, we were beating forty-year records of minus two, minus five, and windshield minus fifteen. That where sucked. my windshield wipers are in my valley right there, mm -hmm. the solid ice was five inches thick, yeah. holding them in. I mean, it just. Um, sucks it was uh interesting but <laughs> my wife and i were prepared we had a nice little i enjoyed every minute of it so it yeah. was good she okay. did too but yeah. at the same time if something happened to her there was no power or anything mm -hmm. i'd get there somehow yeah. but i didn't have to worry about that they i could get are, out there's still a lot of people without power oh. and water it's crazy the town of savannah has water but if you're anywhere out of the town of savannah they're still without it from like Monday last week. That sucks. Too. Um, so it bites. It's yep. fun. There is something. But the problem with missing I'm you guys. It's melting. Well, it's still going to take a couple days. Oh yeah. Um, but it's school it's bus buses didn't run because of that mm -hmm. today. They're not running tomorrow. I was at the bus company this morning. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it so, is what it is. We have Robert Bolander for one. We have Robert Books for one. We have Eric Warren for one. We have Schuyler, Skyler Gar Gariano for one. We have... I should have my glasses on so I can see something. <laughs> we have Mr. Isaac Burkhart. Burkwalk. I know I didn't say his name right the last time. Go around for one. We got Bob Beats. I'm just going to make it simple. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mr. Mm -hmm. Bob Beats. We have Brett McKee. Brent McKee for one. 
I got Peter Khrushchev again for one. We have our favorite uh, war hero, I'll call him. Uh, he, he doesn't like when I say that. He says I give him too much credit, but he served, and anybody that right. served is a hero. Uh, Mark Griffin for five. Okay. And Peter Kristov again for one. There you go. So, Big thing. I want to thank all you guys. Um, you know, people call me, they go, how much more do I need to get one? Or, or I'm just close. How much more do I need to get to get two? Right. And, um, can't win in if it's you ain't in it. It's amazing what we can find in here, even if it's 10, 15 bucks. No. There are stuff on here. I don't know where they are, but unless I'm looking, but they're in here. <laughs> uh, everybody, you know, cries about pricing. But anyways, I have a bunch of the Streamlight. I call them little wedges, but they call them a Wedge XL. I don't know how they get that name. Wedge XT. Uh, there's a regular size wedge. I have these yep. in both black and coyote. I have the little wedges in black and coyote as well. Yep, that's an big glass. I have the little box here somewhere. Anyways, I got them both. These here are 110. Okay. And, uh, hey, don't call me. It says spam. And the big ones are 135. Okay. So for you guys that might not know about the wedge, it's obviously USB-C port, but where the regular wedge has the flip switch on the top, that's here where you cut it on and off, these XTs have a button on the bottom. Yep. 500 looms. So, a lot smaller, it's only two modes. Yep, and it's flat like a knife, so if you're laying on the ground on it, you don't have something big round sticking yep. on your leg or your hip or your shirt pocket. It just fits. So there's the difference between the wedge and the wedge XT. I have some Lyle. Call them short oil canister sockets. This is the new seven piece set. Or it's the biggest set they make today, which I always say because this started out as a three piece set, then it was a four piece set, then it was a five piece set, and now they're seven piece sets. Next year will be an eight or nine. So if them, them guys in Germany quit, quit messing with us drinking that good old beer. <laughs> um, they need to just standardize everything. You know, they are. They make it easier. They're making it standard. This one different. This one yep. different. That's a standard. Everything they different. Say, if it's an oil filter, it's this. If it's a fuel filter, it's this. Yeah. There you go. Um, make it easy on everybody. So, 85 bucks. Okay. 85 bucks. It comes in a nice case. We like cases because mm -hmm. when you open it up, you can see what's out of place. You know, like, yeah, where's that one? Yep. Go find it and you say, hey, Bucko, give me my socket back. There you go. And then I say, hey, tell Bucko to get a set for me. Speaking of cases. Oh, we yeah. have. Yeah, we love cases. This, guys, is my favorite bit set. This is the ultimate quarter inch. It, it really is. It is a Vim set, so it makes it even better yet. These are impact grade. Yep. And you got everything. Bits, you got everything from regular screwdrivers to Torx. And these up here have the Posi grip on them. It's got the teeth, if you can see them. They grip. It's just like putting it on something. Give it some torque. No, I can't do it with my hand, but okay, I can. I did. But it'll grip and hold. It so says. For you guys that may not know, let me see if I can get my camera to focus here. If you'll see this little logo on the side, now this is what sets them apart from others. That S2 logo. So all their bits are made with S2 steel, so they're gonna last a lot longer. I know they have a lifetime warranty, but they're a lot stronger, better made bits than any other bits. And we're gonna be putting that to the test because I got some new stuff coming up 
and uh, I just want to try some of the claims that we hear. Like, and is it really stronger? Is it really last longer? So we're gonna try that out. You have your quarter to bit driver to fit in right. something. If you got a little quarter inch uh, ratchet or something, mm -hmm. I got people wanting just this here piece. Yep. So awesome piece, awesome setup. But it comes in a case, all different lengths. That's what I like about it the most. You've got a variety of lengths because we've all been there before where you're like, man, if this it's thing was close. a half inch longer, half it'd inch work. shorter, half inch shorter, it'd work. Here. So I'm going to go over the sizes real quick while Joe's looking up the part number and price and all that. Not where you guys can see it, but a very good set, great case. These Very are these are 135. 135. 135. Good deal. Put it all in there. Yeah, your phone piece. Kinda. Those are great sets, and they'll last. And they are. if you ever have a problem, I sell them by the bunches. You can see there's a box here with a whole bunch of them right there. Whole case of them. So good tools you get a bunch of. And the same. And here's a part number of M I R S 100. Most people don't like the IRS, but this is a I, good set. This is actually I always look at it. Is thing. this right? So I'm gonna tell you what this stands it's for without even opening the box. It's an interchangeable ratcheting screwdriver. And we may have showed this before, but this is a super cool set. Let's see if I can get it to there we go. So you can get it, you can ratchet it, change directions, ratchet it, and it can become a stubby. Yep. And all the bits will fit right in here. Mm -hmm. And there are some dedicated sizes that fit right on here. Right. Now this is a T20. It's got a T15 and a T20 T30, I believe, right? The yep. And then, and then you got a Phillips. Very nice. And all they do is, let's put it in the right place. Pop right in, pop right off. So one screwdriver will allow you to have a stubby ratchet and screwdriver or a longer ratchet. Because these bits... These this bit, one's actually a bit driver. Yeah. These, but now this is a really cool little piece that's in there. A lot of people don't even know what that is. See, I learned how to take this out of here. Tell you, you once spam quit, starts, they don't quit stop. You quit looking at all them sites and putting your phone number in there. So, and just look in and give them somebody else's phone number. If you got a regular screwdriver, this makes it a magnetic one. Yep. And then it'll hold whatever you need in yep. place. If you're you working somewhere, it. you can't get your fingers in there to hold it so you don't drop something. Mm -hmm. You need to demagnetize. All you do is demagnetize it. Yep. But yes. That's a cool little I have people thing wanting just that their piece, so they can put it on their regular screwdrivers. It'll fit from small screwdrivers to some fairly large oh, yeah, screwdrivers. Oh yeah, it's spring loaded. Look, it, it really opens up wide. Now here's a big one. Yeah, I don't know if it'll fit on that Let's one. Let's see if we can. So. See, it's magnetic. It stays on there. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little too big. Yep. Yeah, I went a little too big. It's spring loaded. So. Up until this size. You can get that in there, you can get your finger in there. I think it's a... It's a but those are great sets. And like I said, all the bits are S2. If I can get one of them out. I'm going to have to get there. We get it out. So I'm one-handed. I got it. So you can see right there, you can see the S2 logo on that bit. So all of them's very, so very you got it out, We can stick it in here. And this is all holds on them magnetically, so you don't need to stick that there on there. Yep. And they did a good job with a little plastic case, so if you don't want to take the whole tray, these actually will lock down in here, or fold it where you can get it out, or you can take the whole little line out and do your job if you're not sure which. So they did a good job on the packaging. Yep. So the bits going here, it gives you plenty of reach, or you'd be stubby, or I said some dedicated sizes. That's a fantastic set there. So how much is it now? These boy? are uh, 235. Okay. Very nice set. They are. Everything Vim makes is awesome. And they have actual engineers making stuff coming out all the time. Mm -hmm. They uh, they're like Milwaukee engineers. Yeah, I know. I just did a video back in November of like 
40 new things that they come out with. And, and then a couple of weeks ago, I got on there and do another video. It's another whole list of stuff. And then they're talking about another 50, 60 products. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is. Those guys have got their finger on the pulse well, in the tool industry. That, that's, that's a company that keeps growing and expanding. Yeah. But I mentioned Milwaukee, so we need to make some noise. Yeah? What do you think? So Joe's blasting the competition. <laughs> So, turn it around on the other side that way everybody can see the uh the writing that's on it oh uh boss uh, yeah boss horn but yeah. it's actually you see it's on it's, the, they take a milwaukee drill a new one so it's made by boss horns and it's an actual milwaukee drill milwaukee drill that they get and put the compressor in hook it up and hook this up and let me it's tell you crazy. they have shorter horns but mm -hmm. if you're going to get something why get short horns you get yeah. the biggest baddest ones they got and they they tone out so turn around the other side the other way i want me to see the milwaukee logo how crazy that is that is nuts i mean, you guys can see it and i know it's going to be loud but hey let's do it in here yeah yeah let's do it I don't know why I want my hearing aids right now. Point it at the floor at least. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to point it at you, okay? That thing gets crazy loud. It, it tones out. If you hit it for just a... <laughs> it don't get a chance to get a tone out all the way. That thing is um, absolutely insane. So you got to tell them the story. Oh, yeah. Um, with some of you guys that's, that's watched the video are familiar with Tupelo and how close we so, live to Tupelo. If you drive in Tupelo... You are bound to get stopped by a train. There, there's no week I don't get stopped by a train. But you got to be like the first guy up there saying, "Hit, take this out your window," because I got one on my front seat, mine. <laughs> and when the conductor comes by and he's blasting his, and watch this, when he's blasting his, I can be <laughs> blasting his. I got a remote a hundred feet away, so it's like. Somebody in the shop goes over by your toolbox, you go, yeah. I told you not to go in there. <laughs> um, the fun you can have. But, so. So Joe he, sells you them. Can't he stocks be, them. You can't be behind a car, because if you hit them horns, some guy is going to think, oh, there's a train behind me, run into the train. So you got to be <laughs> right up the first guy so people can see you. And you can see, yeah, there's one up there, one down there. You got them stashed um, everywhere. I got my, here. the one in front seat's mine. But, anyways, I'm, conductor's blasting his, I'm blasting mine. You should see the smile on that guy. It's like, man, we've got to come through this town again. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, I wrecked myself that way. But, um, and then you look at other cars near you, and they're like, they're all smiling, like, hell yeah. <laughs> so, it's a fun toy. And that's what it is. That's cool. Now I'm selling them, and you can get them yourself, but it's $400. It's like $365, and then tax and shipping, they're $400. Mm -hmm. It's just exactly what it is, but they, they sell them with little three amp hour batteries. You want a big battery. And we ran this every shop, every, you know, people are hitting it all over, and a couple, one shop, one guy had one made on a big air tank. So we were dueling out a little bit. I go, you're bound to run out of air pretty soon. He says, I am. <laughs> I hit my battery thing. I says, I ain't gone down a bar and it's Tuesday. I've been doing it all day yesterday too. <laughs> so I get well, your you battery know. and you know, maybe I make a few bucks on a battery, but um, it's a fun toy. Yep. So that's cool. it's 400 bucks is what comes with my cost. And that's what I charge it for. That's cool. But uh, it's just fun. So you got to have fun while you're out there. That's it. So, if you guys are looking for something to uh, make a lot of racket, there, there's yep. your answer. Right and then there. the remote works from 100 feet away. Um, I had three of them. And they're working on different remotes. How they uh, key so many. But I found one remote that worked two of them. Oh, wow. But, but the other ones wouldn't hit that one. It's mm -hmm. just... but. That way you can do a stereo effect on somebody. <laughs> Told you to stay hell out of my toolbox. But anyways, I hope you all have a great week. I hope everybody keeps safe. Um, 
It's warming up. It's good. Oh, it's man. Good thing. We go from minus 20 to... It's supposed to be 65. 65, Thursday. yeah. So back up um, to normal. It's good. So, I, I mentioned we were breaking 40-year records mm -hmm. in Savannah. So Sucks. Sucks, sucks. Have a great week. Need something? Text me. Call me. Most guys say have their numbers, but when it says spam, I ain't... I don't have time for that. I'm it. All right, guys, if you need anything from Joe, his number's right down here at 731-412-7295. Shoot him a text message and he'll get you fixed up with whatever you need. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check out our merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down there. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.